Here at Rotary, we're going to show you how to properly mount a three-point wheel clamp to a wheel and tire for our rotary aligner. Before applying the three-point clamp, check to see which type of wheel you'll be mounting to. For wheels with a flat lip, such as the type that take a hammer on weight, you'll want to use the conical style tips. For wheels that do not have this flat lip, such as a lot of aluminum or clad style wheels, you will need to use lipless adapters. We'll show you how to mount both in this 90 second know-how. To mount a lipped wheel with conical style tips, use the quick adjustment knob to set the diameter of the wheel. Next, place the two bottom points of contact against the lower edge of the wheel. You'll need to use the fine adjustment knob to assure the flat portion of the tip is touching the flat portion of the wheel. This is where a hammer-on weight would be received. To secure the wheel clamps, you'll need to adjust the tire grabbers to extend at least two inches past the edge of the tire. Holding onto both handles, press in at the same time to assure the tire grabbers are affixed to the tire. This will assure the clamps are secure and in place. Make sure the spring is stretched considerably after mounting. Take special note of the dimple you have adjusted to on the grabber. You will want to set the rest of the grabbers on the other clamps to the same setting. This will decrease your setup time. You've now mounted a three-point wheel clamp on a lipped wheel and tire. To mount the tire clamps to a lipless wheel using the lipless adapters, use the quick adjustment knob to set the diameter of the wheel. Next, place the two bottom points of contact against the lower edge of the wheel. You'll need to use the fine adjustment knob to assure the claw of the adapter is between the tire and the wheel. To secure the wheel clamps, you'll need to adjust the tire grabbers to extend at least two inches past the edge of the tire. This will assure the clamps are secure and in place. Make sure the spring is stretched considerably after mounting. You've now mounted a three-point tire clamp on a lipless wheel and tire. 